Hello everybody. Guess who I have with me tonight? I have got Shazala Bazla and she's got her one of her friends with her and his name is Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome Sharon. How Thanks, wonderful Chrissy. to have you here. It's lovely to be here. Yeah, so what are you and I creating together? Well, we are creating, um, we're going to have an evening in Hamilton. Uh -huh. So girls or guys or both, not at night in, at the bank. At the bank. And which is a, it's a bar and brasserie in Hamilton. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, so it's a gorgeous venue and um, we'll be able to socialise and network. And of course, there's a fabulous guest speaker coming down. Yeah. From, from Whangarei. From Whangarei. And the guest speaker is going to be Shazala Dazla. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. And Shazza, Shazza, like I've been, um, I've had a lot of fun with Shazza over the years. Way, way, way back. Um, um, Sharon and I went, well, Shaz, Shaz took me shopping. What is that called when you take when someone takes you shopping and you personal come? shopping? Personal shopping. Yeah. And also, too, the other thing that you did for me was you actually cleared out my wardrobe, and I remember you actually introduced me to wooden coat hangers, <laughs> which I still use. I don't have one plastic coat hanger in my wardrobe. Oh, rock on! That's something to have a glass of champagne about, isn't yes, it? You'll be proud of me. <laughs> So you're going to be doing you look. We're going to have this wonderful evening of cocktails and what are what are we what are we doing? Having a few. Mm. Yeah, well, we're just going to get together and have a social event, and um, the the title or the theme of the social event will be called you know Is there a diva in your closet? So it's a question, um, and the question is really designed to um, I guess have people to stop and check and, you know, just check what's going on in their wardrobe. Um, and the whole idea about the diva is that a diva is usually bold and, you know, unashaming mm -hmm. and um, shameless, shameless, and doesn't really, you know, hide anything, doesn't, uh -huh. hide, doesn't hide the fact. It's like an opera diva who's just like, you know, I'm and gorgeous. And full expression. Here I am. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I will. I will talk a wee, right. just a wee bit. Yeah, I mean, it could be anything from. We'll see how we go, um, but it could be anything from fast fashion versus slow fashion, oh. or it, it could be something to do with uh, power dressing and body language. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it could be anything like that, or it just could be about wardrobe strategy. So we'll just, we'll just talk a little bit about, you know, having the awareness of um, every time we dress ourselves. Yeah. We're literally communicating to people um, wow. with, with our clothes. Right. So what does it mean, is there a diva in your wardrobe? Can you... What does it mean? Well, that's up to each individual, <laughs> really, isn't it? For, it? It really just touches on the, the energies of um, creative capacity. Creative capacity. Yeah, so is there a diva? I mean, that's a question. Do you have a diva in your closet? In your, oh, in your closet. Is it actually about closets and not wardrobes? Yeah, well, you know, the idea about a closet is that you know, oftentimes we keep things in our closet that never get out. And I mean, we're talking um, not just in the physical sense. <laughs> you oh. know, what, what, have, what have you got in your closet that's hiding? Or what are you hiding in your closet? So is, is, <laughs> could, could it be possible? Like, is there a diva in your closet? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, yes, I do have a diva. Yes, you do. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and I'm thinking of all the different things, all the beautiful clothes that I do have that, yeah. 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 So, uh, I mean, that just is adjusting the energy um, at, or adjusting the volume. I like to call it the volume. So it's just turning it up a wee bit. 
because a lot of us get stuck in the same old, same old. And here in New Zealand, especially in Northland, we have very casual dresses. Um, and I mean, I've done, I've been in the business of personal styling and I've worked in the fashion industry for over 20 years. I've been a makeup artist. Um, yeah. And I do wardrobe detoxes where I go into people's homes and help them go through their wardrobe and detox. You know, the things that they're not, no longer inspired by or aren't adding value. Um, so I've had so many people say to me that they have nothing to wear. And when I turn up and have a look at their wardrobe, I was like, it's full. There's so many clothes in here. So we cut off our awareness or our receiving or our creative capacity or something. Um, and then we, you know, well, what is that? Do we just stop creating? Do we just uh, turn down the volume and get into mediocre? Or do we just sit in a comfort zone? You know, um, is it too uncomfortable to get dressed up and go out? Is it too uncomfortable to be a diva you know is it is it too uncomfortable to be um stand out from the crowd you know wow so just questions Shannon that's pretty awesome that just brings up so much stuff for me so we might have some fun hey oh undoubtedly <laughs> yeah it's all about fun and it is about um celebrating is it about celebrating yeah yeah absolutely it's 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 really tapping into the creative capacity you know like we have that um but a lot of us i mean how much of it do we really truly access so and it's not that there's anything right or anything wrong with yeah. you know the way people are choosing to dress their bodies that i have noticed from working with people in this arena um that that you know <laughs> lots of things come up like we're either wanting to hide our bodies or um mm. be conservative or yeah we don't we don't want to show our silhouette too much because oh just, you know, yeah. they, just all of it i mean yeah, age appropriate dressing you know all this kind of stuff so we, we we bring all these um little boxes that we try and stuff ourselves into uh -huh. but you know the best box of all was the dress up box when we were kids and we used to open that treasure chest and we had no point of view and we would put combinations together that were completely zany and none of the clothes would fit us and all of the jewelry all the accessories you know everything was it was just all fun so every time as a child we would layer our bodies with these in treasures we were in the process of transforming ourselves into a butterfly so we're getting so light mm -hmm. that, you know, no, so light that we could, you know, potentially fly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, you know what? That is absolutely such a gift for me because you did, I had lots of different awarenesses of how I used to dress up when I was a kid. And mm -hmm. um, so we're, I'm bringing you to Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming. So this is going to be about three weeks. Three weeks? Is it three weeks? Yeah, it's October the 17th, which is a Thursday evening. It's a Thursday um, evening. And it's yeah, going to be seven, a really cool place seven, called nine. The Bank. The Bank yeah, which is on the, the corner in Victoria Street. So it's a well-known... Um, it's a well-known... Venue. Venue. Yeah. And so people will be able to um, order a meal and order drinks. We'll have our own wait staff there looking after us it's a private function um invite your friends we'll have some events coming out on socials within the next 24 hours very and, um, cool. yeah and you know you can you can ask any questions like anything at all so we can potentially just do a q a and yeah just see how much fun but you know we will we will create a theme um the the last theme it was sex in the city and so <laughs> I mean, if you just transport yourself to the, you know, to the, to, to the, to the movies, the Sex in the City, um, right. that's very cosmopolitan and, you know, those girls had it all going on in terms of, they had no barriers with their sense of style um, and they were bold and they were divas. So okay. that was, and, and so the theme was Sex in the City. So everybody's invited to get dressed up or interpret that, whatever it means. Uh-huh. 
and not to go shopping because that's another thing that can happen. Um, people before they've even left the house have already calculated in their brain yeah. that they can't afford to go out because by the time they've had their nails done and their hair done and they've bought the new dress and they've got the accessories, you know, by the time they buy their drinks and have a meal, it's just all too hard. Uh huh. So you don't know the theme yet. So you going? To- yeah. Well, I was I was thinking Sex in the City. Uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shaza. All so right. Pretty, it's pretty good fun. It's pretty good fun. Pretty good fun. Okay. It's, it is really, I hear you. I totally hear you. And what I'll do is I will shout everybody their first glass of bubbles on arrival. Bubbles on arrival. Wow. Yeah. And we'll and see, we'll, if, yeah. see if they can make us up a sexy, sparkling Shaza cocktail, <laughs> especially for the night. Wow. Sounds awesome. And yeah. um, so people will be able to get a few hors d'oeuvres there or some food if they want. And, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a really, really nice night in Wonderful. or out, in or out. Out, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Shazza. Um, Welcome. You've got me excited. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I love, I just absolutely love it. I love doing this, this evening yeah. event. It's awesome. Yeah, well, I I just want to say I love you too, darling, because you're so delicious and you use words like delicious and all sorts of amazing words. So thanks for yeah. coming. Welcome. I'm looking forward to it. It's not too far away. It surely isn't. So thanks, everybody, for listening. And um, yeah. we'll see you soon. We'll, we'll send you out some details anyway. Yeah, perfect. Bye-bye.